think the biggest lesson I learned from Clive was to pay attention to youth culture. Because mm. that's what Clive did. He paid attention to us. And in turn, Diddy mm -hmm. and others, Dallas, Austin. Um, and, and so that's been probably the one thing I've lived by is, you know, yes, I love my friends that have grown up with me, but I pay close attention to youth culture and whatever's moving, right. whatever's next, you know, uh, and try to understand it. And I, I always thought that whatever the next movement in music would be, I, sh I probably shouldn't like it initially. <laughs> and if I didn't like it initially, that was probably a sign that it was the next thing, right. mm -hmm. you know. And that's, I pull myself into it and try to figure it out. When you yeah. talk about youth culture, the first artist that pops in my mind is Bobby Schmurder. Like, what what attracted you to him and his situation, his movement? Uh, you know, I'm crazy about that kid, and and I think about him often. And you know, I, I feel like um, you know his better days are ahead of him. I do believe that, and I think it's unfortunate uh, what has taken place. But when I heard him, I believed him. Mm. That's what that's what sold me. It, it felt soulful. It didn't feel like someone was play acting, and it, it felt really believable. And I guess it was. Right. You did, know. How did you respond? Like, how did you feel about the criticism that people, you know, gave you about oh, Epic and LA readers and bailing them out? Like, how did you? How did that make you feel? Well, um, it, it made me feel like you know people don't know anything about my business, <laughs> right? Fair and that's really not their business. Right. That's the truth about it, right? Um, we're not elected officials here, and we're not at liberty to disclose how we do business. Uh, it's fair practice, I can tell you that, right? But it's not the industry that it once was. Right. Uh, yeah. We seriously don't make the money we used to make. That's a fact of life, right? So this isn't, it, Bobby Schmurder is not the same as Snoop Dogg and Murder Was the Case. Who was coming off the career chronic? Wise, yeah, career and, was coming off the chronic and 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 his first album. This is a different era, you know. And you know, so we as we and we're a publicly held corporation. We just aren't in the same position we were in back in those days. So yeah. it's a different day. Now, for you to say that, you know, you 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 like this kid, and you care for him, but you're not building him out. Whether it's a million or two million. No, you have you not you have the you have the money. We all know you have the money. And for you to say that, you know, his his best days are ahead, you know, put put your money where your mouth is. Like if you feel like, you know, he feel, he's gonna come out and, you know, be the next hottest thing because, you know, you, you this is what you do. You scout for talent. And as you said, it's fucking disgusting that you say, you know, if you dislike it, it's probably the next hottest thing. So you probably wasn't really a fan of his music, you just seen a nigga acting like a nigga, and you sense, oh, might be some realness, like, let me co-sign this. So I could be like, hey, I discovered the next hottest nigga. Like, that, that right there was disgusting. For you to say that people don't know the business, but it's fair practice. Of course it's fair practice because they, they legally sign their life away. So, you know, you know, it, it's, it's written that, you know, that you own them, in other words. Like, the whole game is sick. And for them to say you're not elected officials, Elected officials has nothing to do with you putting up the bill money to, to bail out your artists. You know, I was talking about this shit earlier, like, you know, when he come out, everybody's gonna wanna do a track with, with this nigga like Boosie did. Like, he's gonna be the next hottest thing out there because the nigga caught a case. He must be a real nigga, right? When being real goes wrong. Shows really got your back out there. Niggas be some for a record deal, niggas still getting raped. But you, you didn't come, you, man, you said, if you're in business, three people that will always have a record deal, Big Boy, Mariah Carey, and Babyface. What? What? And Mariah's always gonna sell, but Babyface, nigga. As much as I fuck with Big Boy, Big Boy, nigga. Crazy, you know, and all these other, other big companies, uh, corporations, these record labels, they have the money. This nigga could be doing music from jail. If y'all can make the right investment, crazy. Fucking uh, Def Jam, they didn't. There's there's still flooding money out there. Like they're they're signing people daily. That's what record labels do. They sign people daily. Y'all have the money to sign a quarter million here, a quarter million there, a quarter million there. Like that's about the average range of what people's getting signed for nowadays. And if you add it up, that's more than enough to to build this nigga out. Like you already gave a nigga a million dollars before, what is another million? Worth his freedom, bet you that nigga gonna come out and work his ass off. 